Welcome to Investor Watch with James Ulrich. I'm your host, James, and today we'll be learning more about gray cell technologies and their cell therapy. Gray cell technologies, headquartered in Suzhou, China, is on a mission to bring cellular medicines to cancer patients. The company recently reported good news. Its investigational treatment for multiple myeloma, or GCO12F, has been assigned orphan drug status by the US FDA. Multiple myeloma, MM, is the third most common type of blood cancer in the US. It originates from plasma cells, a type of immune cell that is typically responsible for secreting antibodies to fight infection. Over 160,000 patients are diagnosed with MM every year, with over 32,000 coming from the United States in 2020. Despite many advances, MM is still considered uncurable. Orphan drug status is intended to encourage the development of therapies for rare diseases affecting fewer than 200,000 people in the United States. It provides benefits and incentives, including exemption from FDA application fees, assistance in clinical trial design, and seven years of market exclusivity if approved. GCO12F is an experimental CAR T cell therapy, a form of immunotherapy that collects a patient's own immune T cells and modifies them to better recognize and eliminate cancer cells. Modified T cells in the GCO12F are engineered to target two proteins simultaneously. The B cell maturation antigen, BCMA, that's found at a high levels on the surface of myeloma cells, and the CD19 protein on early progenitor cells that could give rise to more myeloma cells. This is expected to result in a fast, deep, and long-lasting responses to treatment. GCO12F is produced through the company's fast car platform. This enables a much faster manufacturing process, being one to two days instead of two weeks or six weeks, and the generation of highly active and proliferative cells that do not require an expansion step before being introduced back into the patient. CAR T cells manufactured on Graycell's fast CAR platform appear younger, less exhausted, and show bone marrow migration and tumor cell clearance in preclinical studies. With next day manufacturing, Fast car is able to significantly improve cell production efficiency, which may result in cost savings, increasing accessibility for these cancer patients. GCO12F is being tested in a phase one and two investigator trial in China as a first line therapy for 20 myeloma patients led by Wan Du. These patients are eligible for a stem cell transplant and have a high risk profile. Results show that 94.7% of patients responded to a single infusion of GCO12F with responses starting four weeks after infusion. All responses were very good partial responses, referring to a near complete depletion of tumor signs. All patients achieved minimal residual disease negativity, meaning that no residual tumor cells were found in circulation. About 13.8 months after infusion, at least half of the patients were still responding to treatment. No cases of serious cytokine release syndrome, a potential side effect, were reported. The company inked a deal with Switzerland-based Lanza to manufacture the investigational cell therapy in the U.S., with the tech transfer still ongoing. Their lead true car investigational therapy, an off-the-shelf allergenic CAR T-cell therapy for treatment of T-cell malignancies, is called GCO27. This candidate showed positive long-term follow-up data at a recent conference. The company continues to enroll patients in clinical trials in China. Moreover, they report that they have introduced GC502 based on the True Car platform, now in a clinical stage in China. According to the company's press release, they plan on filing an investigational new drug, IND, application by the first half of 2022. If the FDA approves, then it is off to the races to launch a study in North America, the world's most lucrative market for cancer therapies. Graysol was founded in 2017 to develop cancer immunotherapies. The company offers cellular therapeutics for patients suffering from hematological malignancy, solid tumor, and degenerative disease. According to Crunchbase, the website has raised $185 million. They went public in early 2021 under the NASDAQ symbol GRCL. Yahoo Finance reports 
that the company has raised substantial sums of money. They currently hold on to $1.96 billion in cash. And typical of high-risk biotech, this venture plans on losses of nearly $400 million in the coming year. For InvestorWatch, this is James Alder, and I'll see you in the next episode.